Hey everyone, it's Shannon with Big Bob's Flooring and today we're going to be organizing my kitchen cabinets. I live in a studio apartment so I have very limited space with what I can do for organization here. I've got very few cabinets and I have two cats. As you can also see, I don't particularly have an, a set organization here. Um, I just kind of have everything where it fits right now. And I, I mean, roughly things are where they should be. So step one is going to be taking everything out of these cabinets and organizing through them. Now when you have all your food out and spread out, it is a good time to go through everything and see the expirations on it and also just consider like are you actually going to eat this we have the junk drawer now there's a reason these things end up in a junk drawer it's because they had nowhere else to go so i'm going to put the stuff back i'm just going to do it in a more organized way now for things that you know are trash or you know you're not going to use, you just have to toss it. If you're looking for a way to get your pots and pans to fit into a small space, I recommend using something like a dish rack or even a paper towel holder. So as you can see, I put my electric kettle right up there. Now this is a good spot for my electric kettle to sit, but I actually use that every day, so I'm going to move that to my counter. So I want to preserve as much of my security deposit as I can, and I don't particularly want to screw this hook in, but if you own the place and you can, go ahead and if you're committed, you know, go ahead and screw that hook in. I, however, am renting. So, I'm going to use command strips, and I'm just going to stick them onto the back of my hook. Just a couple, I mean, these are very strong all on their own. Hi, buddy. And, voila. Now, I have too many appliances for such a small apartment, so, I don't think any of these really need to be up on a counter. Instead, I'm going to store them under a sink until I actually need them. Now, I'm pretty lucky, and as a gift for when I moved in, my parents had gotten me this awesome little organizer that has knives and utensils all here, all nice and organized. If you do not have something like this, you don't necessarily need it, what you can do instead is just use a cup, like a mug or something, or a vase if you have an extra one lying around. So last but not least is the items I have over here. This is just extra mail and uh, recipes that I need to organize better. So what I have here is an old school binder. I'm just going to 
stick the recipes inside of these and we'll keep them nice and safe. Thanks so much for cleaning with me guys. I'm very happy with the results that we had here. And let me know in the comments below if you have any other suggestions, anything else I can do here or anything I can show you. Any other tips that you have to share with me on how I can better organize my place. And also don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see more content like this.